Hello, in this video we're going to do two things. One, we're going to drive the moment generating function for a one degree of freedom non-central chi-square distribution. And we're also going to illustrate the concept of LOTUS, which is an acronym for Law of the Unconscious Statistician. And it's the way you take expectations. Um, and that, the for, for LOTUS, that'll be page three where we talk about that in a little more detail. But these first two pages will drive the moment generating function for a non-central chi-square distribution. And I have a video out called Statistical Distribution Central and Non-Central Chi-Square Degrees of Freedom Equal One. And, and in there we uh, derive the density for the one degree of freedom chi-square distribution. So here if we let z be standard normal and y be z plus mu, then y is distributed normal with mean mu and, and variance one. If we let x be y squared, which is is z plus mu squared, that's chi squared with one degree of freedom and the lambda or the non-centrality parameter is mu squared. And I write it like this. Normally you'd just say, you know, if we let x be equal to y squared, x is distributed uh, uh, non-social chi squared with degrees freedom one non-centrality parameter. But this is going to play a part on page three. So here's the density for this. Now to find the moment generating function, we take the expected value of e to the tx. And so what that says is we take e to the tx times the density integrated over all possible values. And, that's, and then what's left is the moment generating function. But we're going to do this in piecemeal. So there's this plus here. So we could take this plus that this plus that and do two integrations and that's what we're going to do so we're going to call this piece one and this second piece two and so let's look at one first and so the constants will pull out front and even this one half goes out front then we integrate uh, here's the x to the minus one half the e's I combined into this Notice the minus lambda the you know x to one half lambda the one half. And then here I broke it up into two, and of course that I just brought in. Now the goal of this is to trick it into looking like another distribution. So let's do that. So first let's um, anything that's constant or not x we're going to take out front, and so. This piece here is not constant, so we'll so that's e to the raised to the you know uh, minus lambda over two. So we'll take it out. Um, oh, I think that should be. Pardon my pause, but that should be two to the three over two, and. Uh, Oh, no, it's not. I took the square root of 2 and pi. And the gamma of 1 half is pi, and there's the 2. Um, so now we want to complete the square. So we add and subtract a well-chosen 0 to make this be, um, you know, a perfect square. And then we take out the constant that we use to make it a perfect square, and this is what's left over. Um, if we let u be this part here and then we take the derivative and we did that because then we're going to get u squared there and the you know that one half will come in and so will this will come in for the for the dx Then, after we make that transformation, um, this piece here, the, well, the 2 was taken in the transformation, but the pi over 2 comes in, and then uh, 
for this one minus two t we take it down and that's where we get the minus one half and then we multiply and divide by the the square root of this piece and now this looks like a normal distribution right a set, you know mean zero and variance this and so then you take that's the standard deviation so this integrates to one leaving just this piece here Oh, let me rephrase that. It's zero to infinity, so it integrates to a half. If it were minus infinity to infinity, it'd be one. So that's why there's a half there. This here we combine into this, and that stays the same. And so we're finished with uh, the first part. So the second part will go a little quicker because it's very similar. Um, you here's the second part. We've we've combined the e's. You know the exponents of the exponentials. We're going to add a well-chosen zero. We've taken the constant out front. We complete the square and then bring all the other constants out front. Um, we do a transformation. And I love forgetting that dx, don't I? Ah, my pen ran out. Um, then this, we, you know, you make it integrate to 1 and you're left with this. Now when we add 1 and 2, we get, you know, and this is the same piece, but both of them have a 1 half, so it ends up just being a whole. And that's it. So that's the moment generating function for a 1 degree non-central chi-square distribution. Now to illustrate LOTUS, the law of the unconscious statistician, and briefly explain what that is, is here to find the moment generating function we did this we found the expected value of e to the tx but now if we replace x with y squared but y squared was z plus mu squared so now this expectation is a function of z which is standard normal and the law of the unconscious statistician says that we can take this times the standard normal density and it's going to be the same thing as if we take e to the tx times the non-central chi-square distribution. And in this video, Lotus, Law of the Unconscious Statistician, I explain it in a little more detail and then kind of at, towards the end of that video prove it on a little more theoretical standpoint. So here, let's take this times the standard normal density. And so this becomes this. So you take e to the t z plus mu squared times the norm, standard normal density because that's what that is. Um, we f the, for the standard normal density we factor out the 1 over square root of uh, 2 pi and that the standard normal. Now we can add those. Um, we have z squared here and if we multiply this out we're going to get a, a tz squared and then we factor a, a z squared out and that's what this is. And then here you get uh, 2t, you know, mu z, and then you get t mu squared. Then we want to complete the square. And I'm, um, so this part here, we're going to complete the square. This piece we're going to take out front, which is that. And then the part that we use to complete the square is this. So that, then it becomes this. Um, you know, and then we factored out this piece, you know, of this expression. That's kind of where this all comes from. But then we set it up after some algebra. We set it up like this because this looks like a normal di density. And so this is the mean. This is the uh, standard or variance. So if we multiply and divide by the, uh, the square root of this, of course, bring that back in. That becomes a normal density. And what's left over is this. Now, when you combine these, you get this, and we're done. So this is the moment generating function for one degree of freedom, nonsense for chi-squared. And that is exactly what we got using the other approach. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. I sure did. And uh, like the video and subscribe so you don't miss the next one. Thanks. Bye.